And why do you think there's been a shift in perception on this issue? Well, because, you know, decades of work, decades of people working and and refusing to go away, refusing to be silent, refusing to, um, uh, you know, to 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 cave into cancellation, people who will continue to write after they get fired or will, you know, will make their own shows when they get fired, <laughs> you know, hats off to you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's uh, in the same way that, um, you know, there's, there's a shift in everything. And I, and I think um, it also... There's only so much. I mean, Israel has done a really extraordinary job at at hiding things and spinning things and obfuscating reality. But there's only so much they can do. You know, I mean, it's a really brutal society. And I like they've brutal they in in hating us so much and brutalizing us, they've actually destroyed their own lives. They've destroyed their soul. Like I I would hate to be an Israeli. I would hate to be part of that society, even though they have all the power and all the money and all the clout and, um, and all the, the weapons, I would not want to be them because I think they've become a soulless, vacuous people. And that, that happens when you, you know, when every member of your society is conscripted into brutalizing other people on the, on a regular basis, that's a terrible thing. And, um, you know, I, I think victims have a better, um, are better at retaining their humanity than, than the victimizers. And I think um, at some point you just can't hide that. 